A teaching from Manjushri on God Consciousness. Your Buddha nature is sufficient to you, dear ones, to live within for your victory in this life. When you allow yourself to be enlivened, enriched, inspired by, invigorated by your Buddha nature, the true you, you can expand your awareness through the infinitude of God to experience God consciousness. This God consciousness will provide everything that you require mindfully as you intuit from within your Buddha nature the essentials of life the needs of your body temple. And the emotional support that you as a sentient being, a feeling one upon earth, deserve. The Buddhas support you in your evolution into the higher realms of beingness. And this support is undying and eternal. When you determine to clothe yourself with your Buddha nature, and this is the primary goal of your life, the illumination that will come to you, the happiness that will be bestowed upon you, the joy of your eternal being that will give you peace and a new sense of blessedness will make every effort worth it. Every discipline, worth the time and the honor within that effort that you have given to God within worth it all. Lanello, a guru of many of you, has attained this God consciousness and you have felt and seen its reality through his intercession in your life, through his teachings, through his presence. You may go and do likewise if you choose the path of light to live within your Buddha nature. And through that aliveness, through that spirit of oneness and beingness, merge your awareness with God's so that you can attend to the things of the Spirit even while here upon earth. The Bodhisattva vision that you have given today is of course my teaching given long, long ago to Shantideva. And you now have a new opportunity to invest within the earth, 
your vision of a beautiful future realized within you and your world now. You are co-creating this world through your Buddha nature. You are bestowing upon life the essence of your heart, your mind, your will, and alignment with the All Buddha. The power, the majesty, the glory of God that comes upon you and that flows through you in these sacred moments of beingness as you participate with the Ascended Masters, the angels and archangels, the divine beings, and even the Elohim is a blessing, a continuous stream of light that feeds you and actually restores your Buddha nature unto you within this higher field of awareness, the glory of God that you touch, that you feel, that you ingest. Feel your Buddha nature now as a sacred vestment of light that you wear and yet in that wearing that you become. It is integrated within your very temple of light. It is the light within you that gives you purpose. It is the love within you that sustains you. It is the energy of God within you that restores you to the singularity of godliness. God consciousness comes when you are singularly on fire with this love light of perfection, beauty, and harmony. Yes, you all may have moments of temporary darkness where the shadows of life affect you. Yet these are not truly real. They are temporary and they may be cast aside as an outworn garment by your choice to again live in the light of your presence. Every time you choose light and love over darkness and antipathy, your Buddha nature restores unto you wholeness, perfection, and the radiance of eternal joy. Sing of your Buddha nature. Listen to the song of your Buddha nature. Feel the refreshing flavors and aspects of your Buddha nature. Consider it as a living reality, as a being that you are becoming again and again and again. And then one day there will be no more becoming because you will be now and forever your Buddha nature in its totality
and then you will sustain that love light, that eternal joy, immaculately as you and you alone can, because your Buddha nature is unique to your spirit, your soul essence. Being a Buddha is an experience. Being a Buddha is natural. Being a Buddha is what children naturally desire to be through creativity, the joy of self-discovery, each new day's opportunity to simply be here now. The gates of heaven are flung wide open to those who have absorbed their Buddha nature and its loveliness, its gentle, loving kindness. It's amity it's affection for all life, all life everywhere. Be the Buddha where you are. Be bright, and excite the cosmos with the star of your perfected glory, God's glory, God consciousness, God love. Where do you find your Buddha nature? Everywhere and nowhere, outside and inside. Life is the mystery and the majesty of accessing the state of being. as you offer self to God and to all. Mystery becomes mastery when the why is inverted to be the A, the answer of the allness of Alpha within you. pointing upward the apex of that A. Allows you to ascend to your father, mother, through that mastery of self and that attainment of the alpha state
peace, be still, and know that I am God. I am Buddha, Manjushri, within you.